What's up, everybody? Rage Cage 20 here. Forgot to write some shit down. As I was pushing the button, I was like, no. We're back with him, Temptation, the Silent Force. Been a little bit since we got back here. Now, I left this in a comment in the last video we did. But if you're following this in the playlist, it'll be the next video you watch from now. Um, I somehow got in my head that I had watched Forsaken. And the next one was uh, the, the music video we did. That's after this in the playlist, or before the last one we did. Um, I don't know how I skipped Forsaken and, and thought I had already done it or something, even though I didn't put a number next to it on my list or anything that indicates I had done it. And my head was like, I had done it. And I just assumed that whatever the, whatever one I typed in there was like, oh, that's the next one. It was, yeah, my bad. But hey, we back. <laughs> We're going back to Forsaken before we continue on with the album. Uh, I don't know what to expect with this song. Uh, I've had a great ride through this album. There's some, been some awesome, really cool pieces. There's also some very beautiful, serene pieces as well. Uh, the I, I've heard the first second, and it sounds like Sharon's coming in with just this beautiful, glassy, peaceful note. I don't know where she's going to go with that note, but it, it sounds awesome. And the very first comment is, gives me chills. So, like, I think we have for a good time. Like, I, I think ain't nothing else to it than that. So, let's drop it on down here. Forsaken by Rhythm Temptation. Let's go.
to do to me. Oh, oh God, did you see that car in the last motherfucking second? What do you know about my pa's game? Actually, it's ironic that I say that because I've actually been bad with people from a recent uh, <laughs> um, reaction to uh, Mr. Ballin, where people complain about how much I paws. So, I'm sure most of you know about my pause game. You know my pause game's on point. Like, you ain't surprised any of y'all. <laughs> Alright, so, I want you to I want you to remember this moment right here. Right here. Because this is the moment when I realized something that you guys knew from second one. And that's exactly how much time this is going to take. You get you got the, the, the honor of seeing the timestamp before. I didn't realize until... Till halfway through the song, just like, oh, this is gonna be long. Oh, okay, this is gonna be long. That's when I realized it was about halfway through the song. You know, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. Okay. I was thinking even before I started recording this song, it's just like, you know, I. It's always a treat when I get to go back to certain bands. Uh, the certain, there's a certain genre. And it's not that other genres and other bands aren't as good or amazing and don't put in as much stuff, but it's like my specialty is instruments, uh, wind ensembles, orchestras, just a large gathering of instruments is where I shine the most. That's where like most of my training, both, um, both with technical nitty gritty with both aural skills and uh, music theory, but also like conducting and all, all all of my experiences, bands, instruments. I don't got a lot of practice in vocals, though. I'm learning, I'm learning more <laughs> as as I continue to grow in life and whatnot. I'm learning more about it, but uh, there's certain bands. Like, cause you know, other bands do some good stuff, and you know, I point out the stuff that I really like and whatnot. But sometimes in certain bands, I feel like I don't got a lot to say. It's just like, yeah, it was a pretty standard, straightforward song. Like, I like this part, I like this part. You know, it's cool. And there's other other bands is like I just go fucking off, and that's because they just pack so much shit into a song. Good shit, mind you. Well, that doesn't mean bad. It packs so much. Mm, into one song it's just like we're gonna be here all fucking day um and i was even thinking that before i started this because it's like bands like with them temptation epica and nightwish i know that like there's gonna be so much packed in here musically not just the vocals which are all gonna always be awesome but like just the instrumentation the orchestration everything that's gonna be packed into the song is gonna be fucking nuts it's like almost a guarantee when every single time i push play on one of these songs and in the middle like i got a big solid fucking chunk written and it's like i don't get that in a lot of bands so i mean there's quite a few don't get me that wrong but it's just like i say it's like 50 50 you know it's like half of the bands just like oh i know there's gonna be some meat in this bitch and the other ones is just like, oh, it's going to be a good song. There's going to be things I like about it. But it's going to be like, you know, pretty tried and true. It's been done a million times. Just a rock band kind of thing, you know. Uh, but then sometimes they'll throw me curveballs and be like, oh, shit, we got some juice in here, you know. Uh, Delane has some pretty good juice in it. But then Delane's close. I don't know if it's with within the same genre as Within Temptation. <laughs> I see what I did there. Uh, <laughs> but like they're adjacent they're they're very close if they're not the same genre of music um so that makes sense but um yeah wow i think whoever does the writing for the mix and whatnot whoever gives the okay in the end cannot help but resist but put in some awesome panning in the song and I gotta tell you I love him for it every time <laughs> that whisper panning back and forth like get out of here a fucking uh, there was something else in there that I mean, it was like whoa <laughs> it was actually like, at least two or three of those but like which one specifically was a uh, oh the pizzicato the pizzicato I heard in there at one point yep that was awesome uh, fucking the beginning was insane 
Like, the whole beginning was insane. Uh, some of the vocal work was really amazing in the first verse, the, the second half of the first verse. Uh, well, I mean, the first half, but like that's a whole other section of just a lot of shit written. And then when they have that interlude and then get back to the verse in the second half, there's a lot of stuff individually in both those sections. It's crazy. I don't want to spend a lot of time going over it because I know how long it's going to take me to get through it, but, like, you know, some people don't like to watch the analysis, so they just kind of want my initial feedback or whatnot, so I'm at least giving that to those who want it so they don't have to then go watch the rest of the analysis, which, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. You watch as long as you need to get any enjoyment or realize you're not getting enjoyment and want to leave. You take as long as you want, whether it's very short or very long. It doesn't matter to me. I respect you being here anyways. So... Yeah, there's there's so much, there's so much, <laughs> like, god damn, there's so much. All right, uh, that's the general uh, uh, gist of it. There's just there was so much beauty packed into not only Sharon's very glassy, beautiful, emotional vocals packed all the way out, but also the instrumentation, the rhythm switch ups, the panning, the outro whispers, like, or the the outro fading repeat, dog. Uh, it would have been a sin if I missed this song like it would have been a deadly sin if I would have got through the whole album and didn't realize I missed this song and moved on to a different album I would have been doing myself a disservice which also speaking of which remind if it makes a really makes sense and I assume is a really good idea why here it is that recently they I don't know if it was a if it was like a or like a reimagine like what um uh ronnie's been doing with a lot of his songs like taking his old ones and then redoing redoing them and making the reimagined version i don't know if it was that or if it's just a remixing i have no idea but uh seems recently within the last year or so maybe longer i don't know it's just based off of the time of when it was the time of when it was released it's all i got to go off of so i don't know it could have been longer uh but they had the the forsaken the aftermath which i assume is a continuation of the song and whatnot makes a lot of sense there was so much packed into that song and so much goodness in that fucking song that like i could really understand why they would either uh reimagine it take it further continue it it might be just part two uh continuation or a a callback or something who knows but it makes a lot of sense why they would like it's all really good <laughs> all right bring it on down because like i would say we don't got a lot of time but i got a lot of time but like i'm sure there might be like a small handful of you that would like to see this going for an hour and a half two hours but that's like a small handful so let's like try to make it not just for just for everyone else's sake <laughs> so um at the beginning here what what did i want to say so first thing i already i got to get a mention it before it started but i still wrote down the the very glassy notes the very nice high tone just kind of this this very nice smooth glassy angelic sound coming out from sharon's vocals was really good Plus, I just said the notes, probably her vocal notes in general, I wanted to check out. Uh, plus, there was a timpani roll in there that I heard. You know your boy got to get on that timpani when he hears it. Uh, and then, I, and then I pretty much, I was just like, we're just going to we're just gonna dissect the fuck out of it. So I just said, everything else. And then the choir rhythm, <laughs> I also slid that in there as well. It counts as everything else, but I was just like, make sure that that's noted. So, for the first 45, 49, 50-ish seconds... That's what we got to look at. So <laughs> that's that's fucking. I, I get excited when there's this much content packed into a song, man. It's just like, oh, it's so much fun for me to really dissect and listen to every little thing that they put into this song. When there's this much to go through, oh god, it's, just, it's Christmas morning. Let's go. So run out the gate, okay? Right out the gate, we have this very interesting, um, sounds like, I mean, it sounds like some kind of, uh, electronic mix 
put on there it doesn't sound like this would come from any instrument it feels like it would be played through the speakers or through the keyboard or something but it kind of has that that uh, electronic keyboardy like sound to it just kind of filling the background with that nice dun, but like an octave higher than that dun, chord coming in there and just interesting like electronic vibrating sounds just kind of filling the air it just creates this kind of like like soft i can i almost imagine like kind of like a mix between water and space kind of like you were floating in a sensory deprivation tank that's where it made my brain go right now uh just kind of like kind of like this nothingness to it but also this peaceful serene sound to it at the same time very cool and then sharon just gives these beautiful high notes in there Dog. That's how you, that's how you kick off song right here. That I jumped though. Woo! That's one hell of a 15 second intro there. So. At the end of that, she introduces with some nice bars there. Right at the end of that, especially uh, just both of them. Yeah, now the day has come. We are forsaken this time. Just introduces that topic, and then instruments take off. Really cool right there. But first off, that timpani roll on that violin run. I don't know that kicked off into the guitars and everything sick love that there's a, a, it, i really get the feeling here we're gonna listen to one more time <laughs> uh but uh, what i want you to focus on besides the uh, the fill of that timpani violin and everything that pushes into the instruments coming in definitely keep your ears open for that because that's really cool but what I really want you to focus on is just how, I mean, first off, again, that, that space deprivation kind of feel allows this to happen. That's exactly why they're starting off with this kind of sound and chord and whatnot. But that open spaciness that's void of a time signature allows the singer to just play with the rhythm. She can she can stretch out a note as long as she wants. She can rest as long as she wants, rest as much as she wants they whoever she he there since it's a she here we're gonna say she uh it gives sharon the uh, the ability to uh to to stretch certain sections rush certain sections and then pull back again it allows her to play with the rhythm in whatever way she wants and listen to how she'll hold a note and then like the next two notes will be like a little bit faster da 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 as i think i heard in there she'll just kind of go through it a little bit faster and then play with it again stretch it out just she gets to do go as slow or as fast as she wants those notes to go because the rest of the instruments don't come in they know that their cue is after she finishes the last line this time that's the cue to come in she can take as long as she wants in between there and live she probably does some days she might rush it some days she might like really milk those notes because it doesn't matter because once she's done with her vocal line everyone else knows that's the cue to come in it's so cool. Listen to the way she plays with this rhythm here. I thought I, yeah, I, I, really, I liked what the, the choir was doing uh, note-wise, the way they were shaping it, the phrase. I was just like, I'm not noticing anything like really crazy about the rhythm or the notes. And then that part came in, I was like, oh, right, that was the rhythm that they switch up to there. I just wanted to hear that out. Uh, so, she doesn't ever really super stretch 
but she could if she wanted to. She could super stretch some of those notes and whatnot. But some are longer, some are shorter. But she see, does have seem a pretty. Uh, she does have a what seems a pretty clear rhythm of how, what pace and what uh, repetition she wants the notes to go in when she goes through it. But the option is there for her to play with it even more uh, live, especially. Um, but uh, first off, I love the. Dun, 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 I think is the rhythm. There's so much to pay attention to, but I, I like the vamping rhythm and riff that the uh, the guitars and drums are going in and whatnot, which is really cool. And I love the way the the choir vocals are shaped in here. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if that's what I said or not. I think it was close, but I don't think I got exactly on, so that's my bad. But uh, yeah, first off, I like that rhythm. But I love the do, like how sometimes the uh, the choir would do a sweeping glissando up do, or maybe they jump. I don't know. But they'll go up with it and then they kind of shape it down. Like ah, uh, it's very cool. <laughs> So yeah, after you have this very legato, uh, uh, connected, oh, everything is very slurred, everything's connected, everything is smooth, glissandos here and there. Uh, then after you have all that, choir shapes it up, makes it very... Ugh, I can't tell if it, I have to listen to it again. I can't tell if it's staccato or macchiato, but very short, and they hit, they and they use uh, their different vocal ranges between the members of whoever's singing these backup vocals, whether it's a whole choir or just a couple of backup vocalists singing in a choral style. Uh, they hit on every beat, da da da, down beat and off beat, da 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 da, and it's very short and separate sep separated <laughs> separated which is a huge contrast to everything they were doing just before that so fucking sick <laughs> has such a cool change and of course there uh the swooping uh note jumps in there uh is being accented and uh, accentuated by the violins with their dun dun, and they like really accent that higher jump in there and follow along with that. So that is a good emphasis there from the violins and the strings. <laughs> I could even I don't know if I'm imagining this, but I'm even I even feel like I'm hearing a little da 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 da. I don't know if there's a little note coming happening in, in, in like before there or something, but that's really cool. But the way they the way it's like the way it's mixed in the ears, the panning in the ears makes it really sound like it's a call and a response between two different groups of singers. It sounds like they're singing around the same range, but it sounds like one singing, one sings an O, and then the other one sings. So it's like dun 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 dun. dun. It's kind of like it's jumping between two different groups of singers. Not like it's jumping between the ears, so it's not like super noticeable. But the way it's, uh, it's accented, it's punctuated, it makes it feel like it's shared between two different voices not the same person going bum, 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 bum. it's just like it's bouncing back and forth that's really fucking cool For a second, I thought it was like moving between the years. It might be, but I, I don't know how to be supposed But yeah, really fucking cool. All right, we could be here all day. So let's keep let's keep moving here. Um, right around here, I want to check out. Uh, I just want to check out everything that that Sharon's doing with her vocals here. 
Nice little nice, nice little bells for there, I like that. As gods, we shape the world around. So, again, I feel like she's being a little bit liberal with uh, with the rhythm, because again, if you noticed, all time signature is stopped. Uh, I'm sure they have some kind of internal signature that they're keeping themselves to. But we have freed up the, the time signature a lot by just bringing in that, again, just that airy background uh, sound, that foundational background sound, whatever it's coming from. Uh, sounds like it's more of the same stuff, but I feel like I hear some strings in there as well, but I could have been just been imagining that. Um, so it, it really frees her up again to, again, she can do whatever she wants with the rhythm. I think she is keeping herself to an internal uh, metronome that she is keeping within herself. Um, but, like, it's just, I like how she'll, she's playing with the durations of the notes. Some will be longer than others, some will be shorter. It, it's just kind of to make it more musical, to make it more emotional, to really dig into what is being said. And on top of that, she's also playing around with the notes and making a very beautiful melodic vocal line. Like, yeah, chills. Like, chills, chills was not was not uh, an exaggeration. Like, like there's certain songs. I think that, I don't know about the. I don't think it was the last song, but I think the song before that that we listened to from Within Temptation. I think it was. I mean, I say this occasionally, but uh, I th I think I think the last time I said this was Delane, but I think also in the song before that, like they are writing their ass off in this song. Like everything that they're doing musically here is just like whoa, <laughs> and I am for it. All right, let me let me listen to some more of this vocal stuff here. Scots, we shape the world. Da 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 goes down da 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 jumps up da da to fall back down again. Such beautiful shaping. Ugh. As God we shape the world around. And notice how she's kind of like falling down. Sounds maybe stepwise, but there might be a little jump in there when I I can't really tell off of just first listen. I have to really focus in on it. But when she's stepping down, da, 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 she moves a little faster. And then when she jumps back up, she moves slower. Da, 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 da. It just kind of holds a little bit. Again, playing around with the rhythm. Because of this background, she has all the rhythm freedom that she could ever dream of. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. It doesn't really matter. It kind of within a bar constraint in a sense to make it not feel too loose but she does have a lot more freedom to just hold some notes out she feels like and I feel like she's playing with it so beautifully here and now the instruments have come back in so now we have our metronome back now we have our time signature and, and rhythm back in here so now we're we're back in which listen and see because like it could be that she was following this this metronome this rhythm the whole time or she might be a lot more structured as she goes forward here vocally so pay attention to that i'll try to pay attention to herself as well now that we have that metronome back in now that we have the the drums and everything driving us in this specific time signature rhythm pay attention let's see uh but i said hell no and then it'll pick up into the instruments coming back in. Very nice there. Next thing I have is at round 1, 10, 1, 12. I, I lost a I put a lot of twos in here and threes and stuff because I wasn't exactly sure where it was, but, you know, well, close-ish. So around 1, 12-ish, uh, the rhythm changes up. And it, to me, it sounded like it was like a little bit of a rap-like flow to it, which... I could have been imagining, but uh, really fucking cool if that's in there. We'll find out. It's like, let's keep going here. A 
little bit. Like, it does seem like she's following a little bit more of a, a strict structure or whatnot. She's not, like, you know, she's still kind of playing between a little bit of the longer notes and shorter notes, but not as heavily. And you notice on some of them she doesn't hold it out as long at the end of a phrase. So there's a little bit of a switch up there. So that is kind of cool. Yeah, that's what gave me that feeling. It's, uh, because obviously everything gets really punchy there. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. And she follows that, that, that very punchy staccato rhythm. Uh, well, that's more Mikado, because his accent is maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she follows that punchy rhythm there vocally. Dun, 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 dun. But it's the, on the, gaining we turn by the way she f keeps flowing it it has this like it has again this kind of like rap on the spoken like flow to it which is really fucking cool it's the ta ta da da when she gets those little notes ta 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 da da ta 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 da 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 when she kind of connects that and keeps it flowing even though the the instruments have stopped. He has this kind of like rap like feel to it. As such a cool rhythm switch up there. Nice little da 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 from the choir in there. Nice. nice. I like that they repeat it. If you notice in that one, it has a different feel and a different flow to it because she stops when the instruments, roughly when the instruments does. She doesn't continue when the instruments stop, but she still holds out a note a little bit. Our time has run out. Our future has died. Like kind of, kind of stops there and doesn't have that da 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 to keep the thing, keep everything flowing or whatnot. So it kind of has a different feel to it. But also the the string hits that was accompanying the uh, the the vocal hits in there, uh, they were echoing those high da 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 das in there. Uh, the violins, the strings and stuff jumped in on joined on the the vocal lines there. Really cool addition. Now, I, for my own sake, I want to go listen to something there. Um, I heard something after Slips Away, and I had to see what it was. It sounded like an either an oboe or a clarinet. My, my, uh, my, my, my money on oboe. Hold on. You hear that? It's... It's only, I mean, it could be there for a couple more notes, maybe later we'll hear it again, but that, no, 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 there's just like a few, like four or five notes in there. It's just like a random oboe or something. <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> oh, that's fucking crazy, yo. That's fucking crazy. I love that. All right, so we're going to jump. A little bit ahead here. I want to hear the chorus. I want to hear this crazy ass chorus in here. Yes, it's pretty much. The, I mean, I wrote, I kept writing stuff down, but it's pretty consecutive. They kind of go into each other because it's this whole fucking song. That's how I knew it was going to be a long video. It's because I have so much written down and there's no jumping in it. It's just consecutively stuff just keeps fucking happening. That's how we get long videos. Either that or just talk a lot. Uh, chorus. Let's hear it. So not only do we have this awesome um, rhythm and a riff going on from the guitars and stuff, um, but first off, I like the tone in Sharon's voice here. I like uh, I like what she's doing with the rhythm, how kind of smooth and open these notes are, how elongated the note duration of this of these notes are. I like that in general. But what really puts 
the extra scoop of ice cream on this multi-scoop cone. Is that harmony, though? Not only a harmony, which would be awesome in its own, right? The effect that's on that upper voice that makes it sound so spacey and hollow, which makes the whole thing, again, sound super, like, angelic, like, coming down from the heavens and super glassy and, and gorgeous. Again, they were writing their fucking asses off on this song. Like, a bunch of stuff that they didn't have to do. And it still would have been a good song. Like, she could have just sang this whole thing straight up, no harmony, no nothing, and people still would have been like, this is fucking amazing. But they're just like, nah, that ain't good enough. We need that extra scoop of Rocky Road on this bitch. And they just fucking slap in that writing, and it's just fucking great. Whew. Because sometimes you can just add too much. It's unnecessary. It's just like, this is just a lost sound at this point. But when you add just a bunch of extra stuff and it all fits together perfectly to create this beautiful effect, that's just good writing, man. That's how you know you do good writing because it's easy to fuck it up. But when you do it right, it's like, because this song was written by the heavens themselves. Like, it gets to that level, man. It's crazy. All right, let's let it let's build into that again. There's no... crazy and on top of that sharon's main voice not her harmony voice is also singing decently up in her range i would say it's it's not in her high range but it's like it's like it's a like cresting into her higher range this is like mid high you know it's like almost into her higher really higher ranged area stuff but it's not quite there but it's still some high notes in there which is also helping this like glassy angelic vibrating sound that's happening from the effect on the vocals that's like helping enhance that as well at the same time and of course the crazy dolls going in from the choir and all the all the extra choir notes adding to this background effect is also helping a lot And ba I just heard that da 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 coming in from the from the the background choir there. Nice touch again. All these little things that they didn't even have to write, but they did, and it's awesome. Now I know I'm refer. I just kind of blanketing. Uh, what the guitars and everything is doing like I don't want to take any credit away from them because it's like their their job there is to create a foundation and support everything that's happening over them because if they were just playing if they were just holding out chords it would be okay you know it would still work they would still be doing their job but there's like dun, 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 you know the stuff that they're doing underneath just adds to the epicness and awesomeness so just because i'm not mentioning them does not mean that they're not doing an amazing job and playing the hell out of these fucking chords these power chords in here man like they are strumming the fuck out of it and creating this really badass metal foundation for all this awesome almost like doomsday like crazy end of the world angelic blasting that's going on from the from the choir with the gorgeous smooth angel voice of the sharon army going on here like they are definitely creating that metal foundation for all that to really shine so do not count the the guitars and the drums out at all even though we're not mentioning them a whole lot because yeah, I love me some strings. <laughs> so I, I and uh, and uh, and other you know and other or I love the or orchestra, but I don't think I'm counting out the 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 the, 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 the metal band at all. I'm like goddamn, they're doing a great foundational work here. I saw da little embellishment she has there i love that and it kind of melts away a little bit but the guitars immediately come back in which i think is good to kind of like because you know we have to come back down because the besides maybe uh maybe a bridge or a breakdown or something the choir is supposed to be the most action 
very choir chorus is supposed to be the most action-packed part of a song for the most part and there are occasional maybe solos or or uh, you know as i said like bridges or breakdowns and stuff that are like the climactic point you know there can be a climactic point above the chorus but in a lot of songs the chorus is it that's where you that's where you bring all the energy that's where you bring all your fire at so when you go back to a verse or to a softer breakdown you gotta you gotta soothe that shit back down we can't just keep us going crazy the whole way through i mean some songs can <laughs> some crazy thrashing death metal songs good sure uh but like you know we gotta bring it back down you can hear how it kind of just like melts away a little bit but still like it melts all that high all the high voices that were going on the the, the harmony the background choir the strings and everything that were just screaming over the top all that just kind of melts away so we have a little bit of that release back down but you still have the guitars dum, 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 like coming back in so we still have the energy the intensity still going there but we do calm down a little bit you know let that melt away and whatnot good choice so next thing we got here 213 ish so approximately nine ish seconds around here uh vocals plus extra backing vocals uh i think uh, the second verse here is very similar to the first verse but something did change up that caught my attention so i want to check that out and then if it keeps going from there around 240 there is some cool i think a little pizzicato interlude uh at least in the mix pushing towards the chorus which is cool which if you don't know what pizzicato is is when you take uh an instrument i think any string instrument i think guitar is be the same but i don't think a lot of people do this but maybe they do i don't know uh and instead of bowing it or picking it you pluck it with your finger that's pizzicato i don't know if guitars can pizzicato but i know violins viola cello string band, all of them can <laughs> so that, that's what pizzicato is just because you're wondering That is unbelievably gorgeous. I forgot that, that. That again, harmony coming in there, which sounds like Sharon harmonizing with itself. There could be some extra backup vocalists in there as well. I wouldn't know. Uh, but because it does sound like it is Sharon, she's definitely in that mix. But it sounds like there's more than one of her. Sounds like might be Sharon like two or three times, either just doubled or tripled or harmonizing further I'm not 100 percent positive or it could be some other backup vocalist in there but that is smooth and airy over top that's just like laying that's just like drizzling the melted butter on top of that vocal line a lot of food analogies i am going to be hungry after this anyways And that slide up there, nah, smoothly just slides up and then down, and then it goes back up. And I smooth, ooh, ooh, melt butter. Fuck! All right, we'll jump about five seconds here, and let's listen for that for that that, that bridge between the the verse and the chorus. Let's, let's hear that pizzicato again. And what else was happening in there? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> As, as a cool mix between strumming and pit and, and pitzing i think that's what they call it, the act of pizzicato pitzing <laughs> uh, 
uh, if my memory served there from what I was hearing, like da 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 bum 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 bum, just switching back and forth quickly between the two, between Boeing and and Pitsing. That is, that's cool. And it sounds like it's uh, it's doing what either the cello or string bass was doing because I just heard it there. Uh, they weren't pizzicatoing, but they were bowing, and you'd have that da 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 boom boom boom. Like there's the there's a there's a call and response going on there between the higher strings and the lower strings or the mid tier strings. I don't know what cello is considered. Is that like the middle or is that considered a low string? Because it can do both, right? Anyways, again, I don't know much about strings, but uh, it's it, it, that call and response between the higher strings and the lower strings, which is called lower, uh, is mirrored between the the second time they do it between strumming and pizzicato. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really fucking cool. Yeah, the strings built up for that. They had this whole, like, a short little run, and they, like, moved up to a really higher pitch. And it's on. That's really fucking cool. Listen to that build. It kind of happens in, like, this ear, but you can hear the strings zip up to this higher register. That's so cool. Into the chorus there from the strings. Love that. All right, we're going to skip through the chorus. I know it's beautiful and amazing, but like, we're, well, yeah, it's like 50 minutes. So we we got to keep it going. We're almost through the end here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's get closer to the bridge here. Um, that panning whisper dough jumping back and forth between the ears this intense whisper going on from sharon like doc give me that again i got here's that again and not only is that beautiful high note to push into this awesome bridge coming up here but i also like that uh it's the end of the course, which is from We're the Last of Our Kind to Only Ruins Stay Behind, which rhymes with itself, which is really cool. But also, yeah, I like that switch, as well as the, that very beautiful high-held note that she has there. And the da from the choir in there as well. That's nice. That's a nice little leading tone. I love the I love the where, where that is in the mix. We got all these vocals going on, strings going on, guitars, drums, all that just in there, and it just kind of like pierces through right in the middle, like right dead center, in the middle of that with that very like distant but like intense and like right in the right in the middle of your ear sound that it has in the mix. Really fucking cool. It just cuts through all the sound very clearly in one ear, shifts to the other ear. And jumps back and forth. That's fucking sick, man. So cool. And I love the the pauses and the time between each each sentence. I don't know if it's a full sentence, but like each set of two to three words, or one in the case of the first section there. It's always four words. The first one's broken up three, one, and the other two are broken up two, two. And then the last one's just two. Anyway, sorry. I just noticed that. That was cool. Nice little vocal run there from the choir. 
Yeah, after she finishes the last word, no time, everything just kind of swells a little bit there. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Listen to that again. It's cool. Swelling. Sorry, was that a gong? <laughs> Excuse me. Right around here in the left ear, was that a gong? Maybe. Could have just been a drum rumbling, but I think that might have been a gong. Whew. Okay, sorry. Let's let it push back into that. What else do we have? Uh, I think, yeah, this is the part where I said, uh, so damn glassy. <laughs> she hit, uh, Sharon's voice just isolated again. So crystalline, clear, gorgeous, beautiful, glassy, angelic, all that stuff wrapped into one, one beautiful little gift basket. Here you go. And then after that, I uh, said some battle instrumentation. It's just like, again, I'm getting this like crazy moment, doomsday like shit going on from the instruments in the choir and everything going on here. And they kick it up a notch after Sharon's beautiful vocals here when everything breaks down for the for this breakdown section. Fucking cool. The day has come. Beautiful chords here, sounds like on the keyboard. They're very warbly and electronic, but you can hear like very clear keyboard chords. Whisper though. It wow. Okay, hold on. We got to build into that again. Sorry for interrupting that in the middle there. Before right before it happened, I forgot about it. Uh, so, uh, repeating the intro words. I now just noticed that. Repeating the intro words here. Now the day has come. We are forsaken this time. And that, like, not only is it like a whisper, that whisper harmony echo on this time, but the way she holds it out, it sounds like it turns into like a hiss, which, given the word said, easily could be like a kind of like a disdained, distasteful hiss of aggression in there. Maybe, maybe I'm reaching a little too far. Let's listen to it again. But that was really fucking cool. just has this like almost sneak like hiss to it this time. i think it like kind of like fades this way a little bit that's really cool nice little vial uh, string run there back into the instruments coming in So what helps make something sound like a battle march or some kind of epic fight or something? Brass instruments. That's what helps there. But that fucking, uh, the very march-like uh, riff coming in from the guitars. Hold on. It always sounds like a march. Da 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 da. It just always that nice short triplet. Ta da da da. Always sounds like some kind of march and whatnot. And then you have these these brass. It sounds like some kind of. The like second one sounds like a trumpet to me. The first one it sounds lower but not too low, which is making me think of a French horn, but perhaps. But definitely some brass stuff. Panning in the ears again. The first one starts out around here. The other one kind of gets in around here. Uh, so jumping between the ears, switching the panning area in the ear as well. It's also really cool. Yeah, that's not a French horn that I would guess trombone. Like, yeah. Some nice, like, mid to low range brass there. It's got this pretty growl to it, too. That's not a trumpet. Yeah, I'm thinking more, uh, yeah, it sounds like French horns and trombones to me. Very cool. And did I hear the one die, uh, come for the vocals there? Hold on. Alright. 
So we're gonna back it up just a little bit and listen to this this uh, this chorus on the way out. Uh, the last thing we got. That's why I didn't want to interrupt later. The last thing I want to listen to here on the way out. So around 425-ish, after we're getting through this chorus and what have you, the instruments, some of the instruments maybe switch up, maybe they get more intense, I don't know. And that outro repeat, which to me, I wrote down Pirates, like Pirates of the Caribbean. It reminded me of uh, kind of like the moment where uh, like one of the younger kids, like maybe the first one in the beginning, like when Elizabeth is a kid and she's singing and whatnot, kind of has that kind of like that airy on the sea kind of like just uh acapella singing sound to it well maybe i'm tripping i don't know <laughs> but it sounds pretty cool so yeah let's listen to this let's let this let's let this run out and listen for whatever the instrument's about to do in this outro repeat uh the day has come mm. It also has a little bit of a uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean feel to it. Dun, 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 dun. Like that also kind of had a little bit of pirate energy to it. Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't remember the instruments doing all that. <laughs> I guess I was writing. Hold a tick. Not only do you have that leading tone da, from, the, uh, from the, 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 the background vocals. Uh, which is really awesome and just like screaming out doomsday shit again but uh, then the instrument swelled into some crazy shit god that crazy that crazy fucking instrument both the brass instruments coming in strings coming in the 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 band coming in all that just hitting off the dun 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 and some crazy stuff going on but then just like it all kind of it all holds as like fading away and then like almost like the last survivor rising from the fire and the smoke just in the wind just standing out there sharing just rises vocally from all of that mess and destruction fading away dude not only is their ass gone from how much they've written their ass off but they were writing out their freaking minds in this song so much so I couldn't say fuck. It had to be freaking. So you could understand how insane the writing game is on this fucking song. Like. <clears throat> here's a hint. If you don't know me very well. And you just happen to stumble upon this video. And you're still here. Kudos to you. Um, here's how you know how insane they're writing on this song. If you couldn't already tell from just listening to it. I don't up anything. Like, if a song's just a good song, be like, yeah, it was good. S solid song. I've said that about many songs. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, all across the board, that was, that was just a solid song. You know? I don't get hyped. When I'm like, what is... The, did you hear that? We gotta focus on this. Like, you know I'm not fucking around. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't hype anything up if I don't feel it. Like, the writing in this song is... Fucking ape shit. <laughs> it's crazy. I love it. I love this creativity and writing ingenuity. Okay. So, where were we? Crazy stuff that we gotta listen to again. All this crazy destruction and just blasting of all the instrument stuff that fades away and Sharon rising through the smoke like a fucking phoenix. Go. It 
and she's already starting to kind of fade a little bit into the back of the mix like it's not continuously but she does move a little bit backwards into the mix fades a little bit has this kind of almost equiness in the filter in her voice here like and of course it's just glassy high note in general like damn dude A second time, it sounded like she had a, uh, a harmonized whisper with her, and then it sounded like it was getting like, kind of like fizzling out a little bit, just kind of like electronic buzzing. But it sounds like it's like it was harmonized and repeating the the line of the day has come with her, like in a whisper, and then a fizzling out whisper, which also is a really cool effect. Hold on. And the fact that it keeps repeating that da 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 rhythm to it, just and just the last note is held for quite a while, just kind of has this like I just the imagery I'm getting is again kind of the rising from the ashes and whatnot, after all this destruction stuff, fire and smoke just kind of blowing away in the wind. But the person who's standing there is is standing strong, but they're fucked up. <laughs> like they just got blasted but they're still standing and they're trying to fight to their last breath and it's just kind of has this lulling the day has come kind of just has this kind of like barely hanging on vibe to it but still there and still surviving that's the imagery and mental picture that i just got from that hold on <laughs> whisper in there. Y'all, how did I miss this song? How did I not hit up this song? Wow. You know, <laughs> There's only a few bands that that just have so much in it that take that takes me this long to get through. And you know what? I'm not even sorry <laughs> that that this video has gone on for over an hour. Like, like I I live for these moments when I get these songs that's just packed with so many changes, so many little pieces, different instruments entering, different themes entering, different uh, contrasting sections, rhythm switches, uh, instrumentation switches, vocal switches, like everything just switching up, just completely defying your expectations and just, just the, when the writing is this deep and intricate, but none of it feels overdone or overwhelming, it's all very well meticulously thought out and crafted it's just like i live for these pieces man i live for these pieces of music to where i get to spend over an hour just going through every detail of it like it might bore you to sleep that sucks to be you there's other videos you can go click on <laughs> but uh for me like this shit is like this is where i live man this is this is where I live. This is what I live for right here. This kind of music, this kind of writing is just like... I feel, I feel like like I need a nap. <laughs> I need to go take a breather. I was going to record some uh, Path of Exile today, but now... Well, I'm going to still. It's not, it's not crazy. But uh, like now I think I need to go, need to go take a walk. <laughs> like relax a little bit. <laughs> like I just went through... An experience. Not just a song, but an experience. <sighs> My life's different now. <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> this, is, no, this is a really good, really good song. Really well written. Um, not only is Sharon singing out of her freaking mind, but the, whoever's writing this music, and I'm sure Sharon has a good hand in it as well. Uh, they're writing out of their freaking mind at the same time. And, uh, 
like all the little nuances and stuff that they put in here that they really did not have to still would have sounded really good without it just takes it to the next level like that's what takes it from like oh this is really good to like you gotta hear this is the just the subtle little nuances this is adding in an oboe for four beats <laughs> for four notes like just little stuff like that you know could take it to the next level oh we're gonna put a harmony here why just harmonize why not put like this angelic filter on it to make like it make it sound like it's singing from the heavens because why not just a harmony would have been awesome and amazing on its own but let's take it to the next level and that's how you that's how you get a, a, a masterpiece right there is when you're not afraid to take it to the next level when you don't have to and not only do you do it but you do it well that's how you make a masterpiece right there i feel bad for the next song ain't no way you gonna live up to this or maybe it does who knows uh so obviously we have uh if you watch the last jonathan young the next one we have the next jonathan young that's going to be in between with the temptation songs here because we're doing a two-parter back to back let's go is uh drag me down the one direction cover which i know what that song is now i want to listen to it and i was like oh yeah this song i've heard this before that's one direction it happens a lot with popular music <laughs> i was like oh i've heard this song many times i didn't know it was them uh but after that we're moving forward the next one in the album we've already done so we're going on to the next one after that which will be aquarius we're finally getting to aquarius which sounds again very beautiful very liquidy smooth like i can imagine this being a very gorgeous peaceful song or they might just throw all expectations out the window and make a crazy thrashing epic action-packed song <sighs> you never know excited to find out this so thank you all so very much for joining me you're welcome that it was this long and i will see you all next time